Hey guys, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for more great content. Hey guys, it's Rob Four here from Betway, and joining me today is Stanislaw to take on Pro or Low. So you said you've seen the series before, so we're going to show you five frags. Some are low players, some are pro players. How do you think you're going to get on? I think it's going to be tough because you have a lot of amazing clips coming out of the you know casual community. So we'll see. I'm going to do my best. Yeah, sometimes they hit the most insane shots or do the most insane plays, but hopefully you'll be able to distinguish. So if we watch the if the first clip, tell me what you're you're thinking and if it whether it's a pro player or a uh, or a bit of a noob. All right, let's do it. That's a crispy first shot, at least. Okay. So All right. 4K I kind D. of have an unfair advantage because I feel like I just saw this in a pro match lately. I don't remember <laughs> which one. I, I want to say like Godsend versus Phase or something, but it's definitely a pro because I know it was in a pro match. Okay, okay. It, it, kind of an, e an easy answer. It is a pro, you're right. But what it, was there anything about it that kind of gave it away that it was a pro? Because if you actually look at the terrorists, they're all just sort of like, they are peaking at the same time, which, you know, is a good sign. But was there anything that I would actually tell you that's a pro player compared to a low player? I think this player just has good crosshair placement and good timing on his peaks, and he's just confident in the deagle, and he made some magic happen. Sweet. So it was, uh, it was Keto. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right. Big. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think against uh, against OG. And yes, you're right. It was very, very recent. Some of the pro frags are quite recent. So, you know, that might be a nice little clue for you. But you've got one out of one so far. So, uh, good, good start. Uh, next frag. Yeah, I think so far from watching this, I, <laughs> I think it's going to be a low. I just think based on his like teammate and based the way uh -huh. the terrorists are moving, I just it just seems like more of an amateur match or a casual game. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much team play going on. Like the, his teammate was sitting uh, on cat still while he ran out by himself and there was no cohesion there. So I, I think it's going to be a low. Wow, it's actually it's actually a pro. It's, it's shocks. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I need to get back in the server and watch other team play because they're just running around. I don't know how that works. But... Yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's actually hilarious. Also, like the 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 T on uh, B site, he probably should have killed Shocks. Like he had a, a good opportunity to, to kill him. So, um, who are they playing against? There, that was actually it was against Complexity. Okay, interesting. Interesting. That's why they brought in JKS. That's why. <laughs> that's exactly. What <laughs> that's probably Safix since that. Uh, Nato Safix is a great player. Yeah. Um, well, well, yeah, we caught you out of that one. Uh, but on to number three. Yeah, it's pretty good movement and good utility so far. Pretty safe about what he does. Very calm and collected. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow. I mean, if this guy's not a pro, he should be. I'm just going to go with pro. It's, it's actually a low. Yeah. Um, a guy called Replay. Uh, but like you said, that, that you know, good utility. He was very calm. I think that's the that's the thing that often catches people out. Pros are often very calm and very decisive with the decisions, and he was here. So is that why you kind of went with the pro? Yeah, I mean, he hit that first shot, and it just seemed like it was in more of a pro setting, just because he already knew that he had to flash for his teammate, or he thought mm -hmm. he was going to call that he was flashing for his teammate. So it just seemed like more structured, and and he has good team play. Yeah, I've seen this smoke quite a bit before. A lot of pros actually use it in in, in their games. And this guy already, he, he had a plan to jump cat, but he missed the jump and then he had a follow-up plan. So he's very prepared. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go with pro. He just seems like he has a lot of preparation in, in his game and experience. It is a pro. And it's surprising that this pro missed the window jump because it's, it's Zaiwu. Uh, okay. <laughs> like like you say, it seems like it seems like Zaiwi. If it, any situation Zaiwi gets himself into, he can get his his way out of it. Yeah, exactly. You saw he missed the he missed the catch jump. He already had a backup plan. He went underpass through that smoke, got a couple more kills, and then yeah, it's, it's, it's just good preparation on his end. Yeah, for sure. So you got two out of four, uh, which means uh, the next frag you can get three out of five. So you can get over fifty percent at least. Okay. So let's see, uh, let's see if you get that.
It, it's kind of funny how he like looked at the bomb. He's the way he's moving is just kind of he's just unsure of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, and then he has like his crosshair placement's not the best. I'm sorry if this is a pro, but he's just kind of running around. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, I think it's a low so far from what I've seen. Because um, the crosshair placement and the... Yeah, uh... I think the crosshair placement's giving it away. But hey, there's a nice little team play swing there. They, if they call that together, that was good. But I'm going to... Yeah, I think it's a low. It is a low. It is a low. He, he is still global elite. But compared to the previous global elite, there's a noticeable difference there, isn't there? Yeah, much notable. So that noticeable difference. I just think, um, yeah, crosshair placement could use a little bit of work and... And um, a little more calmness. He just seemed a lot more hectic. He was getting a kill, then he was running around, going for another kill. He just needs to calm down a bit and yeah. just work on the crosshair placement. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Comment how many you got and feel free to subscribe.